With a $5 million bounty on his head, Rwandan genocide fugitive Felicin Kabuga has been on the run for 15 years now. All along, Kenya has found itself on the short end of the stick with the US government and the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda accusing it of shielding the fugitive. But Internal Security Minister Professor George Saitoti insists that the fugitive is not in Kenya. We have nothing to gain by having Mr. Kabuga here. The search for the fugitive Kabuga should be widened to cover other jurisdictions. Saitoti says that the government has already sent three letters to the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda. In the letters sent through the office of the Attorney General, Kenya has repeatedly stated its commitment in apprehending the fugitive. However, according to Saitoti, the government's move to freeze Kabuga's bank accounts have been frustrated. Kabuga's known family members live in a European country. The remainders of Kabuga's bank accounts in Kenya were transferred to that country and credited to his wife's account. Kabuga, who is suspected of bankrolling the 1994 Rwandan genocide, is believed to own property in the country and alleged to have a good network with the high and mighty in the country. Clearly, the activities of the Kenya government that I have mentioned above reflects a lot of commitment. Almost five years ago, the hunt for Kabuga took a dramatic turn with the murder of one William Monohe, who was believed to be an FBI informer trying to lure Kabuga into a trap. Chris Dairo, Citizen TV, Nairobi.